I'm James Randi, and I want to speak to you today about the ADE 651. What could that be, you ask? Well, thousands of them were sold from the UK by a man named James McCormick, who only recently was arrested for fraud on several charges in the UK, stood trial, and was convicted sentenced to 10 years. Here is Jim McCormick in full flow on a sales trip to India. A man who, with his genial style and easy patter, clearly enjoys holding court. This equipment and the dog work perfectly hand in hand. Today at the Old Bailey, however, the spell was well and truly broken. As the 57-year-old former policeman saw his hugely lucrative life on the road playing the role of global protector exposed for the gobsmacking scam that it was. The ADE 651 is uh, similar in some ways to what you see here. This is an imitation of the device. It has a long antenna fastened to it. Inside there's a circuit board which is not connected to anything at all. It's a fake dowsing rod. Now all dowsing rods are fake in that they don't work, but this is supposed to be an electronic one. These were selling for up to, are you seated, I hope? For up to $60,000 a piece. And yet he sold these devices all over the world. To the police in Belgium, to UN peacekeepers in Lebanon, until they wised up, to security forces in China, Japan, Kenya, Libya and Mexico, among many others, and to Iraq, his most profitable market. And these soldiers that were using these devices on behalf of their government to detect roadside bombs and such, and explosives of all kinds, were using these things, though they did not work. And soldiers would be blown up. And what was all this technology based upon a novelty golf ball finder called the Gopher? This is the product, would you believe, which underpinned Jim McCormick's multi-million pound security empire. A bit of plastic with a retractable aerial on a spindle. For the golfer, it adds whimsically, who has everything. For his first detection device, the AD100, McCormick just bought the gopher and swapped the sticker. McCormick is responsible for many deaths in, in that part of the world. Many deaths. And yet, uh, the UK government could only convict him on charges of fraud. And as I say, he got 10 years, but he will only serve five years. Not only that, he made an estimated 70 to $80,000 on several of the deals that he had, and many millions more. He has a place in Capri, a summer home, I assume. He has lots of properties in the UK and one in the United States. He's a very rich man. He goes to jail for five years and he will make over seven and a half million dollars a year just waiting in jail for his sentence to come up. In this most volatile of security environments, it's thought he sold 6,000 units where hapless security personnel almost comically pounded their feet up and down, conned into thinking their own electrostatic energy was powering the units. But month after month, the carnage continued. Now, I trust that the UK government is going to go after him to seize that property. I certainly hope so, because this man is a criminal with blood on his hands. I'm really shocked that the UK government couldn't have done better than it is, but I'll stand back and give them the chance to finish the job. I think they can. I, I've spoken with the prosecutors in the UK. In fact, I was scheduled to be a witness to go over to the UK on short notice last month during the trial. I wasn't called because it wasn't necessary. The evidence against McCormick was overwhelming as prosecutors told me, and they won the case. But folks, I'm just sitting here patiently waiting to see what will eventually happen with McCormick. He's an evil man. 
he deserves to go to prison for much longer than that. I hope we'll get some satisfaction on the matter of the ADE 651 phony dowsing rod. I'm James Randi.